turn away after all they are not true believers and in 547 it says so let the people of the gospel that's speaking to me christians judge by what allah has revealed in it so the quran is saying so the quran is saying judge by the injil judge by the injil so judge by the injil to seventh century christians Judged by the Injil, by 7th century Injil. Uh, this, this is just rudeness. This is just rudeness. This is just rudeness. Now, you've got to ask yourself whether this is good behavior. Yeah? Because they're in, this is a conversation that you've said that you want to have. Right? Right? And I will appreciate the way you're conducting this. I'll debate you later. I'll debate you later. I'll debate you later. See, what You're is, an incredible, no, get Bob, your hands off me, Bob get your hands off me, and stop Bob being rude. Knows, Bob You're an knows. incredibly rude. Bob, my friend Would you like Bob, to take, no, get your hands off my me. My friend Bob yeah, knows no, that it's not the injury. Stop don't touching you. me. Don't you, stop touching don't you, Bob. You know, stop touching you know, me. You know, you know stop it's not touching me, bro. You know stop touching me, bro. Why are you touching me? What's the problem? Why are you touching me? No, stop touching me. We just bought your copy. What's wrong? Stop touching me. We just got a video. I've asked you not to touch me. I've asked you not to touch me. You said he was our I've asked you not to touch me. I've asked you not to touch me. Show some respect. I'm sorry about that. What's Sorry the about that. Why, why are you now, getting, why are you getting the reason the reason why they're behaving like this why, is because you're you. sincere, the point, the point and is they're Bob. worried about that. The point is, Bob. They're worried it's, about. It's called the Injil, not so the gospel. So what I would like to do, because it's our called conversation. It's called the Injil, not the gospel. Why are you being rude? It says Injil, not gospel. Why are you being rude? It says Injil, like, not gospel. Sister, I'd like to give you a gift. It says Injil, not gospel. Yeah, let me give you. Let me give you a gift. It says Injil, not gospel. And then you come and talk to me whenever you like. It says Injil, not gospel. Why are you lying about the Quran? Okay. He says in Geo. All right, don't run away. Stay here, bro. He's just lying, aren't you? He says in Geo, not gospel. Don't be rude. He's just lying. So, this is for you. Okay? This no, is my I gift to you. I can, I can read it on. It's it's just okay, a don't sister, take I'd it. encourage you to read it and then come and speak to a sincere Christian. Yeah. He's a liar. And, He's a and come and ask you questions. On on Soko on Soko films, on Soko films. Soko films. On Soko films. You can find an email address, contact me, and I'll continue this discussion with you in private. I'm not you've, accepting what you're saying. I know, that's I just, fine. I just to do my research. That, is, I to hear your point that is absolutely fine. And I want to say that you have behaved like a wonderful, decent human being, and I want to say thank you. You've been a very kind. These people are not a real representation of Islam also when they come and share. Yeah, yeah. So, you, please, can I give you this gift? It's my gift to you. Then let, let me give you something smaller. Don't listen to this guy. Don't listen to this guy. He's a waste of time. He's just messing around. One thing for you. All right. God bless you. Take care. Right. Now let me now, now let me now let me debate you. Now let me debate you. You were big a minute ago. You were big a minute ago. Now let me now let me debate you. Now let me debate you. Now let me debate you. No, no, why, why, why are you afraid all of a sudden? We don't speak to you. Why are you afraid? Why are we pushing? Don't push me. Why are we pushing? Why are we pushing? Why are we pushing? Why are we pushing? Little supremacist. Why are you a supremacist? Yeah? Answer me this question. You were big enough to interrupt me when I was trying to have a nice conversation. No, no, he interrupted me. He interrupted me. Very so upset. answer the question. Bob is very upset. Answer the question. He very upset. Keep your hands you to yourself, please. Very upset. Keep your hands to yourself. Don't touch me, Bob. Don't touch Why are you touching me then? Very upset. Keep your hands, very your hands to yourself. So answer this question. Answer this question. Who was Jesus sent to? Who was Jesus sent to? Don't worry, we don't speak to you, Bob. Who was Jesus sent to? We just clarify. It doesn't Who was Jesus sent to? Who was Jesus sent to? Who was Jesus sent to? Answer the question. What? What? Why are you suddenly a moral coward? Why are you like suddenly it. an intellectual you like coward? Why are you suddenly Relax, an intellectual Bob. coward? Is, is in Gio not gospel? Who was Jesus sent to? The one Answer writing. the question, you coward. And his, and his, who is, his who is Jesus sent to? Who is Jesus yes, sent to? Who is Jesus yes, sent to? Answer the question. Who is Jesus sent to? Who is Jesus sent to? Why are you frightened of that question? Who is Jesus sent to? Answer the question. Who is Jesus sent to? Who is Jesus sent to? Answer that question. Why are you suddenly afraid? You were talking to me a minute ago. You couldn't contain yourself a minute ago. Why are you a coward? Look at the Dawa. Look at how they behave. The Muslims can't complain if we interrupt their conversations after today. So from now on, 
We will interrupt their conversations. We will interrupt their conversations. From today, we're going to interrupt Ali Dawa's conversations. We're going to interrupt Mansour's conversations. We're going to interrupt this Islamist dog's conversations. So, tell me, who was Jesus sent to? Well, answer the question. Why are you afraid suddenly? Why are you afraid suddenly? Who was Jesus sent to? Why are you silenced by that one question? Tell me. Go on. Who, who is Jesus sent to? Who was Jesus sent to? You were so big a minute ago. Who was Jesus sent to? Why are you fooling him? Why are you fooling him? You were so brave a minute ago when you interrupted my conversation. Why all of a sudden are you afraid? Why all of you a sudden a coward? You interrupted my conversation. Who was who was Jesus sent to? Come on, boy, man. Come on, big boy. Who was Jesus sent to? Yeah, I know your supremacy is bull crap. Look, bro, bro, bro. You see, you don't like it, do you? 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 But you do it. But you do it. Who was Jesus sent to? Answer the question. Okay. So what you see? What you saw, ladies and gentlemen? What you saw, ladies and gentlemen? Is the Islamist dog? That Islamist dog right there believed that that girl that we were speaking to was listening sincerely. She was. She was. She was. She is an example of the difference between a sincere Muslim and an Islamist dog. And notice the Islamist dog suddenly. Suddenly lost all his courage. I lost his courage. Yeah. Why did he debate you? He wanted to interrupt the debate. But when challenged to a debate, the Islamist dog ran away. He ran away. And he gets upset by behaviour he practices. So, because of what that man did today, as of today, if I want to interrupt a conversation of any member of the Dai, okay. that is what I am going to do. For quite a while now, we've had an understanding. They don't interrupt me, I don't interrupt them. And I was willing to do that. But as of today, that understanding is over. And if I want to interrupt a Dai, I will interrupt a Dai. And when Muslims, you complain about its rudeness, Remember this video and that Islamist dog right there. Hi, how you doing? Sorry? Mashallah, mashallah what? Is that a good thing or a bad thing? Can I have that mic please? Yeah, of course. Back at the ranch, now I have the mic, I just want to say that Bob, uh, like the guy had his hands, sorry I got the camera, anyway, and choking. <coughs> no, I need to charge the phone. Give me one hot second. <coughs> Anywho, Bob started it, uh, sorry, Bob started it deflating the situation. The man had his hands all over him. With the mic. In my hand. And he was smiling. And he was a critic. And he just had no respect for personal space and decency. So um, it looked bad. Go on, Jay. Follow. Follow. Take that. <laughs> in the future, I just want to reference you. Yeah. Ah, when I interrupt Dai in the future, you I just want to reference you as the reason. That's what, what's your name again look, then? Look, John. Look. John. Look, okay, look. there we go. That's it. That's fine. No, 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 That's fine. No, 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 Hamza 2. Hamza 2. Hamza 2. Hamza 2. Hamza 2. 
Hamza 10 years from now. Yeah, Hamza the Goblin. <laughs> There was no fight. Yes, you calling. Why are you fighting, my friend? Why don't, why don't you challenge him for being rude? He don't want challenge. Why don't you challenge him for being rude? Do you actually know what happened? Why are you him? Do you know what actually happened? Why are you him? Do you know what actually happened? You don't, do you? You don't. Because you want fighting. You don't, do you? Yeah. You haven't got a clue what you're talking about, have you? Because you You haven't got a clue what you're talking about. And this is the point, guys. Like, if we allow these Islamists to continue unchallenged, the behaviour that you saw in Leicester, right. the behaviour that you see in the park, yeah. is something that we are going to have to face in every street. You must wake up. You must wake up. Because our politicians may not know what's coming down the track, but anyone with a brain can see it. This kind of behaviour is just the tip of the iceberg of what will happen to Christians in this country if ever the Islamists gain the upper hand. I know I, I've already spoken about it. Okay. In the equation of Christianity. Right. Now or forever hold your peace. I'm gonna, I'm gonna do a talk on the Christian faith. I'm gonna do a talk on the Christian faith. Okay. Go on, Bob Sila. Yeah, go on. There was a little Adam and Eve in the past, or it was fictional. Yeah. You talked about it, but I didn't get a grab of it. Okay, explain it to me. So I'm not, I'm not into, I don't want to debate this topic. No, no, but just, just so I will clarify my position. Yes, yes, that's what I want. But I want to be clear, I'm not going to have a debate. Okay. Because I don't believe that uh, sectarian, these kinds of debates are things that we should do in public. Okay. Okay? Just clarify what you So I believe that there was a, a real, genuine first human or first human beings. I believe that. But I don't read Genesis literally as history. I believe it, I, I read it more as mythology. And it's mythology, the reason why I read it that way is simply because in terms of scientific inquiry,